Hello everyone, I am back. I am back with another recipe. This is a three part recipe. First we're gonna do our chicken kofta. And then we're gonna make some tzatziki sauce. And then we're gonna have some lemon dill rice. First, we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and make our chicken kofta. You all, I have uh, ground chicken. This is white meat here, and I'm not too sure what this is. I couldn't find two packs, so I got two different packs. Ground chicken, I know this is supposed to be ground breast here. This is one pound, this is another pound. So I'm gonna make uh, this recipe for four servings, four people, put it that way. So I got two pounds of chicken, on this bowl here, we have, I know I'm not going to use all those onions, so I'm going to probably use some of them onions and something else. But uh, this is one large yellow onion, and I probably won't use all of it because don't look my chicken. Don't look, it's supposed to be a pound, but don't really look like a pound. So one large uh, chopped yellow onion. I have two cups of parsley, you all, and I have two of these cups, which are one-fourth cup. So two one-fourth cups of parsley. I have that. We have, I didn't want to use four tablespoons of uh, mint. So I have about three tablespoons of mint, chopped mint. Also, we're gonna use, let's put this back. So here's your parsley, mint, onions. Here, what we got here, we have four tablespoons of coriander. Excuse me. We have two tablespoons full of coriander. We have three teaspoons of cumin. Here, this is a uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon might give or take might be a little tad more of that and right here this is my two teaspoons of kosher salt here I have a little a pinch of clove or allspice allspice here I'm gonna use this is two large uh, cloves of uh, garlic. I have another uh, clove of gar garlic here, but I'm going to use that for my rice. Mm -hmm. I have one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. One fourth teaspoon of cay cayenne pepper. I have two eggs. And I think that's all I'm going to put in this recipe. Of course, I'm going to use some olive oil, you all, to cook the chicken in. And I think that's all I need for this recipe. I'm going to just mix everything together. So we're going to mix all, mix, we're going to mix all these ingredients together. First, let's put this chicken in here. ground chicken. This is supposed to be chicken breast. This here I guess is just ground chicken. Mm. Okay. Whenever possible uh, I would say please try to use fresh ingredients. Whenever possible. Now put our ingredients here coriander cumin this is the cinnamon and the kosher salt all that goes in there Ooh. 
my pepper. Let's put um the garlic in. And that's gonna be trying to get that little bit of uh, if you don't have cloves, you all just use a little bit of allspice. That's fine. Might add another pinch of that. That aside here. Get no more. I'm sorry. Let's add the mint in. What about some of those onions? Let's see. The mint. I might want to use some of these onions. So I would need small plate. Let's take some of my onions up. Might be using those for something else. Okay. So these onions in here. So I don't think I'm gonna need all those onions. This is my parsley. Okay, you all. Also, I'm gonna put just a little bit of black pepper or peppercorn. I said peppercorn. Made a little bit of peppercorn to this recipe. I wipe my hands here. Peppercorn. Fresh peppercorn. Two eggs. Mix all this together. Ooh. Okay, just want to make sure that it came came out together and did not get into my stuff here. Careful these eggshells. I'm gonna put that there because it's missing. Okay. Now, we're going to mix all this together. I'm going to make sure I didn't put any eggshells in here. And you, you all, let me tell you, it smells good already. It smells good already. And we're going to fry this on the stove. Um, I don't know how people cook their meat, but I say I cook, cook it until it's done. I hate to say two or three minutes on each side because I, I don't know what kind of oven you, uh, what kind of stove top you're cooking with. You can also use a meat thermometer. But I like my meat done. I don't eat anything that's not done. That's, that's just me. My steak and everything is well done. I know some people don't. And that's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's just that I'm going to cook mine until it's done. I don't like burnt food, though. So, okay. And that smells good. Now, got this all done here. And while this is going to be sitting here just for a few minutes, I'm going to wash my hands right quick. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to, how I'm going to do my rice. Smells good already. Good to eat, but it's just raw. Okay. I'm gonna get my hands washed and we're gonna I'm gonna show you about the rice. But everything is mixed in together, you all, all of the ingredients here. You all, we're gonna start with this lemon dill rice. Got a little stuff up here. What we're using, we're using chicken stock. Chicken stock. I have four cups in there, and I'm going to just uh, use uh, six cups. This is, you know, it's a half a cup, of course. And two more of this here. That makes a whole cup. 
So we got six cups of um, chicken stock. Don't use water. Don't use chicken broth. It's different. We're going to add, um, this is a half teaspoon of salt. So this is kosher salt, you all. Half teaspoon of kosher salt. We're going to add that clove of garlic. And this is just a continuation of, uh, ooh, that smells good. So the plate you all was the plate I had, you know, with the other garlic stuff on. That's why the plate is dirty. We're going to add the rice. What we got here is a tad, tad over two cups of rice. Bring to a boil. I'm gonna put it down on low. Once it finishes finishes cooking, we're going to add uh, two tablespoons full of butter. Two tablespoons full. Uh, two tablespoon. We once it. Uh, okay, let's cut it down. Put the lid on it. Once the rice finished cooking, we're going to add two tablespoons of butter. Not margarine, butter. We're also is gonna, we're gonna use one, probably about two tablespoons of lemon zest. Just a lemon zest. And we're gonna use a cup of this, I'll let you know. But this is a fresh deal. Two tablespoons of fresh dill. So it it, it 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 doesn't take that long to do the recipe you all you prep. So we got the lemon dill rice cooking and we turn it down like so like on low. And once all the water cooks out, then we're gonna add the butter to it and the dill and the lemon zest. And it's not a hard recipe. Just prep your stuff beforehand. So also, next what we're going to do, we're going to fix the uh, tzatziki sauce. No. Yeah. So we're going to get ready to fix that right quick, and then I'm going to uh, cook up these um, this chicken. And it's going to be like uh, burgers, you know, just uh, small little burgers. Okay, so... Give me a minute to get my ingredients together and we can go ahead and do this uh, tzatziki sauce. Okay, you all, we're going to make this tzatziki sauce. Move that knife all the way here. Here I have two cucumbers. They're not that big, so I have two here. Um, I'm shredding the cucumber with the bigger size holes and then the smaller size. It's just a combination. A small clove of garlic, fresh garlic, that I have here. Cucumber has a lot of water in it. So we got two of these little cucumbers here. Cause these are bigger as I could get. So I, you know, this consider, I say this is one big cucumber. Uh, one uh, small clove of garlic. We, since I am making it for four, I'm going, going to uh, juice uh, two lemons. I just need a lemon juice. And I'm going to use two tablespoons of extra virgin uh, olive oil. And I'm going to use uh, 2% uh, low-fat, excuse me, milk-fat yogurt. Reduce 2%. This is Greek uh, yogurt, you all. It has to be Greek. And I'm going to use like a fourth teaspoon of um, sea salt. So let's finish this other cucumber here right quick. has a lot of water in it. It's uh, leaking everywhere, so we got to hurry. And like I said, I'm just doing a combination of uh because I want the baby to taste taste it. See, two textures with the cucumbers here, and this is sort of mushy. Uh don't get a uh, cucumbers that have a lot of seeds in them, you all. Those big seeds, I wouldn't use those. 
when you use the cucumbers with the big seeds in them. Because you might not like the taste. Okay. So that aside, let's just add our yogurt. Wait, my hands here. In the bowl. Uh, four cups. This is about four cups, you all. It's going to add this whole container. I hope this bowl is not too small. Let's get that piece of paper off. That wouldn't be good to eat, would it? Let me finish that and then I get the paper off. This is the covering over the yogurt, you all. Over the container. I'm glad he put a cover over it. It's getting a little messy here. Put that salt in there. Put the cucumbers and the garlic in. Ooh. Cucumber got a lot of juice, you all. Garlic here. Let's get the cucumber in. cucumbers in. Okay. Say. Cucumber juice. We mean cucumber juice, you all. Yes. Cucumber juice. Let's juice these lemons right quick. have two lemons here that I am juicing and once I finish with this you all I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator set this aside Juicing the lemon. Uh, if you do your prepping, don't take that long. Okay. I'm just getting the juice. Oh, this pulp right here. Mm -hmm. olive oil in just a second
It's a tablespoon, you all. Two tablespoons of uh, olive oil. And this is all you put in this. You just mix it up real well. I'm about to go get my spoon here. Put it in the refrigerator. It smells good. So you mix it well. And while this is in the refrigerator, then rice is just about done. So it'll be almost like on a warm thing, really. I am going to cook my chicken. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look at that. Don't look good. Mm-hmm. I think I got it mixed pretty well. Here. You, you could use this as a dip. <laughs> okay, you all. I think this mixed pretty well. Okay, let me set this aside. Let's put it in the refrigerator. Let's fold off. And we're going to get ready to fry. Give me just a few minutes. I'll be back with you. We're going to fry. Okay, you all. We're going to pat out these burgers. We're going to pat out this chicken. Let the turkey get out mixed. Myself, you all, I like a lot of onions and stuff. My family might not like a lot of onions and stuff, but I do. I like a lot of onions, I like a lot of garlic. Okay, so we got enough to cook those. rice you all cook it down real good okay I will be adding zest of the lemon to uh, tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of baby deal shortly we're going to finish the chicken here. If I call it a burger, you all, I mean chicken. So don't hold that against me. It's chicken. I'm patting it out like a burger. Okay. That's a very good flavor. I 
edition. One more. I hope you try this dish. And just take the dish and make it your own. You don't want a lot of garlic and all that stuff. And you don't have to put as much in your uh, recipe. Take, just take the recipe and put make it your own. And if you want to add some different stuff, then you can. Try not to deviate from it too much. If you want to, to have the flavors to have. Okay, those are the last four patties. Uh, patties. Let those cook. Um, show you a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and put the butter in my rice and the deal. I'm gonna show you that in a few minutes. While these patties are cooking, I'll get back with you. Yep. Okay, you all. The rice is ready. We're gonna add. I said I was going to add two tablespoons of butter. I changed my mind. Since I got so much rice here, I'm going to add four tablespoons of butter. Uh, zest from the lemon. And, of course, fresh dill. This is fresh dill. And, of course, this yellow stuff is lemon zest from a lemon. Put all that in here and stir it up a little bit. Melt wonderfully. Take it off. You don't want to cook no more. Mm -hmm. Let that melt. Okay. Put the lid on. And get ready to get us uh, some rice in the bowl. And of course, we're going to have our sauce. And we're going to put our sauce and, and uh, chicken over it. 